Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Today I want to share with you a little after a holiday a homemaking motivation for you. There's just something so calming and relaxing about being in the kitchen early in the morning when the sun's not even up this time of year, prepping breakfast, getting my coffee ready. I just absolutely love this time and really enjoy making food for my family and as a lot of you know I do spend quite a bit of my time in the kitchen but it is just such a wonderful time of the morning before my daughter is up my husband's doing his morning devotionals it's just really a time to reflect and um, get my mind ready for the day. Many of you also know we have a routine breakfast of some sort of eggs, sauteed veggies, and then my husband always has toast and then some avocado coffee, things like that. But just a routine in the morning is so wonderful and I think kids need that too and so our daughter really enjoys her morning eggs. I love spending time with my daughter and just seeing how she changes so much throughout her young life and we always spend some quality time together after breakfast dishes are done and she's learning to color a little bit um, and it's just fun to see her mature in that way but I thought I would share a little Christmas undecorating with you as well I still have some of my faux greens up but a lot of the real greens have to come down because they're already dying and getting messy but the change of season is truly it's kind of wonderful to refresh especially in the new year take down all the beautiful christmas things and um really just get everything kind of to a clean slate like the new year should be and I just like this time to be able to reflect on what my house is to me and how special my home really is. I know I have lots of flaws in my home, there's things wrong with it like everybody's house but I like to just go around and decorate clean and just really enjoy the beauty of what the home is. With it being the new year, I think one of my goals or ideas that I want to implement in my homemaking is to use less. I love thrifting and love getting decor secondhand, but I also find that it makes it more difficult to decorate when you have lots of options for decor. And after having cleaned a lot of my Christmas stuff out, I just really love the simple look of my home and it makes cleaning so much easier especially when I have a toddler and I'm expecting my second I just want to be able to make things um, easier and be able to spend more time with my family the things that are important in life and so I just really want to hone in on having a simple um, simple decor truly and I think that's something that I will try to focus on in 2021.
I think little tasks sometimes daunt people, but if you take just a few minutes here and there, it really makes a home um, come together a lot easier and it's not so daunting at the at the end or when you want to just sit down and spend days cleaning your house. So I'm just wiping my cupboards down. I think the last time I really wiped them down, got in the nitty gritty, was probably six months ago. So, you know, it's a twice a year task to just really get them um, nice and clean and having white cupboards, you can see a lot more. And it's so fun, again, to have my daughter help. I just gave her a little rag to help along and <laughs> she doesn't always really know what she's doing, but you know, She's only a year and a half old, so I think starting young is something that is going to help her in the long run. Yeah, but I think if you just if you just do little tasks here and there every day, it won't be so daunting. And that's something as a homemaker I really strive to do. And my husband has even said things to me like that, that he just loves how... I manage the home and make it a wonderful place to come home to after work. So another refresher I wanted to do for the new year is put on my new comforter that I got at a rummage sale that had been used once in a showroom and I know it's like pink gray and white but I love it. It's so heavy and great for the winter months. Our other one was just too light and plain white it was getting dirty I had it for like three years but it is fun to change things out especially when it was only $15 and of course play a little hide and seek with my daughter while I'm at it um, you know just refreshing things on a budget is a really great way to make a home a house a home because then you can change it out more regularly too like who can who could have go wrong with a $15 comforter and a little pillow set so i love it okay now it is time to start on supper and this night, Wednesday nights are always a breakfast night, so I'm actually making a morning glory muffin. And I like to work smarter, not harder. I am shredding carrots with my food processor. It literally took me probably 30 seconds to shred three carrots. I used to just hand grate them, and again, that's prioritizing what we find important. And I love making food, I love being in the kitchen. But when you have a toddler, um, it's nice to do things quicker. So food processors are a great handy tool to have. If you don't have it, I suppose just hand grind it. But um, recipes will be linked in the description box. And next week, I'm also sharing a five meal evening meals for you that we had this last week, actually. As I know a lot of you do enjoy seeing what we eat in our evenings, but these muffins were delicious and they have so much nutrients in them. Um, daughter loved them, husband really liked them, and so I just think it's, it's great to make food that's healthy and that people really enjoy. So yeah, the Morning Glory Muffin has been super popular on Pinterest and yes, I am making it. I'm also using some of my homemade applesauce that I canned and froze from um, the fall. But anyways, yep, just making up a couple muffins and then one little bread pan and still eating on, on them um, to this day as I'm recording too, because they are just so delicious. Being a homemaker and being home throughout the day, it's nice to get these baking things done earlier, um, like just in the middle of the afternoon. I know a lot of people work, but you know you can prep all these things the night before or in the morning or something like that. But I also love homemaking because I love snitching on food. I had to taste these, of course, and also give my daughter a little piece too.
Maggie, are you getting a Vea? Well, after some fresh air and time in the snow, I'm going to be making my egg bake for supper tonight. This recipe, again, is a hit with my family. Um, I don't do a lot of measuring. You've probably noticed that in some of my homemaking videos. I, I do measure more baking things, but if it's just something where you kind of dump, I eyeball it really like salt, pepper, seasonings until um, I think it looks good, honestly. And so that's something I've learned throughout my years of homemaking. And I think, you know, most people enjoy how I season things as long as my family likes it. But I had already sauteed up the vegetables and had pre-cut ham from um, a leftover meal a couple days ago. So that was really nice to have that extra protein in there. So it's just nice, again, being a homemaker to kind of prep ahead of time and have things done. I do try to do quite a bit of that stuff during my daughter's nap time or um, when she's busy playing by herself. And that just is something any homemaker can hopefully do as well as find the time that they can do that so they're not missing out on time with their family. This egg bake turned out superbly, just the right amount of cheese and veggies and extra protein. And I just love serving up wholesome, nutritious food to my family and sitting down to an evening meal with my husband and daughter. Of course, um, we always have salsa and eggs. I don't know if any of you do that, but even my daughter loves it. And then I made those muffins, like I said, and then I made some smoothies for us as well. Just some fruit, yogurt, banana, blueberry smoothies. Um, yeah, just to kind of round out the meal and make it a fun evening breakfast meal. I truly hope that this video inspires you to just really think about your home and how to love it and care for it this new year. And if you already are, that is wonderful. Continue that. If not, I hope you can find a place to just really take care of your home to serve your family. But I called it a night by lighting a candle and settled down with some tea and actually did some planning for the week and watched a show with my husband. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Love you guys.